Okay, part two, the back of your review page. Okay, so here's these that you were supposed to match. Okay, four times 20 plus four is the same as two times 40 plus two, so D. Okay, four times 1,000, three times 100, two times 10, sometimes one is 4,327. So it's the same as 4,300 4, plus 27, because if you added that, this would be that number. 4,327A. Do you see how we got that? Okay. Remember, I love how they throw these at us. This is called uh, 4 squared. So 4 times itself, which is 16. 16 minus 4 is 12 times 5 is 60. So which one of these would also equal 60? 17 minus 4 is 13 times four is 42. Four times a hundred, or a hundred times a hundred is a thousand. Four times that would be 4,000. See, you guys can figure these out and write the answers to them so you kind of know what you're supposed to do there. And that leaves this one. 10 times one is 10. 10 times five is 50. So 10 plus 50 is 60. 16, wait a minute. 12, yeah, 12 times, because 16 minus four is 12. And 12 times five is 60. So this one equals 60, and this one equals 60. So E is 25, you see that? Okay, 300, these are division problems. 350 divided by seven is five. 12 divided by six is two. So five plus two is seven. Which one equals seven? Nope. 350 divided by seven is 50, my bad. Yeah, 50. Okay, 50 plus two. Seventeen minus four is thirteen times four is forty-two. Did I mess up there? Because this one here, ten square root is ten times ten. That's one hundred. Plus four hundred is five hundred. Oh, I messed up twice here. Four hundred times a hundred is four zeros. That's 40,000. What am I doing wrong? 10 times 10 is 100. So you take four zeros, one, two, three, four, and one times four, that's 40,000. So I messed this one up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. 10,000 times 4,000 is 40,000. My bad. C. Now, how did I mess up on this one? B has to be 26, but what did I do wrong? 350 divided by seven is 50, because 50 times seven is 350. Okay, so that's, You know how this bothers me. I have to figure it out. Seven goes into 35. I know you're saying, Mrs. Meyer, it's gotta be B because that's all that's left. If you're on a test, fine. That would be good enough maybe, but I like to find out answers. Zero, 50. So this is 50 plus six divided by 12 is two. 52. So what did I do wrong over here? 17 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 1 minus 13 times 4 is not 52. Well, maybe it is. Oh, that's right. It's 52. Okay, figured it out. I hope you are that way. I hope that it bothers you if you don't have the right answer and not just write it down from the process of elimination, you know that's the last one left, it has to be it. Maybe if I were on a test, I'd be satisfied to do that, but I'm sorry, but I have to know. I gotta figure out what I did wrong. 
All right, now write the value of the expression if n equals four. So two times four is eight plus six. So two times four is eight plus six. Eight plus six is 14, okay? N plus 40 is 44. And you see all these? 24 divided by four is six. And the last one there, 31 is seven minus four, that's three times five is 15, okay? Then we have, write the value of n. This is so much like yesterday's page, okay? This time you don't know what n is. So 21 minus five is 16. We did that one together yesterday. Three times what would equal 270? So do the opposite. 270 divided by three will give you what you need to times three to get that number. So three doesn't go into two. Three goes into 27 nine times. Three times nine is 27. The password is smaller. Bring down zero goes into zero. So it's 90, okay? Then 150 divided by N is 15. So we need to do 15 times what will equal 150. So 150 divided by 15 gives us what this answer is. 15 goes into 15 one time. One times 15 is 15. Zero, bring down. 15 goes into zero, zero times. So this is 10. If you had $150 and you divided it by 10 people, each person would get $15. Now you can also always do, go back, I'm not double checking these, but you could go double check with these and make sure, put it back into there. Do 150 for your test, you should probably do this. Do the problem, 150 divided by 10, is it 15? Check it out, 10 goes into 15 one time, one times 10 is 10, 15 minus 10 is five, it's smaller, bring down, 10 goes into 55 times, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so don't be just happy with your answer, especially on a test. Actually put that number in there and do the problem again and make sure it works, okay? The last one is nine times N equals 153. So 153 divided by this number gives you this number. So do 153, or I should go the other way. 153 divided by N will give you this number. Because nine times this number is 153. Okay, so nine goes into 15 one time. 15, nine times one is nine. 15 minus nine is six. Bring down, six is smaller than nine. Bring down, nine goes into 63 seven times. So then you would do 17 times nine to make sure it equals this. Nine times seven is 63. One times nine is nine plus six is 153. Bada bing, bada boom, it works. Okay? So don't just be happy and satisfied with your number. Make sure it's the right one, especially for a test. Then we have our story problems. Did I do this one with you yesterday? I believe I did, didn't I? Yeah. I did. So I'm just going to keep going then. This was 54. This was 54 towels. Okay. Then Audrey folded 50 tan washcloths, 75 white washcloths, some beige washcloths. If she folded a total of 195, how many of these were there? This is the letter N. We don't know what that letter of beige, number of beige. So add what we do know, we know we have 50 and 75, and that equals 125. And then subtract that from the total, there was a total of wash clause of 195. So subtract this total of white and tan, and what does that equal? It equals 70. So she had 70 beige. Okay, um, then we have number 38. Landon runs three hours each week. If he runs four days a week, how many minutes does he run each day? Three hours is how many minutes? How many minutes are in an out one hour? 
60. So 60 times three gives you the total number of minutes, which would be 180, okay? If he runs that in 40 days, or four days, then we're gonna take 180 divided by four. That's 45, 45 minutes per day that he runs. Okay, and the last one, the girls volleyball team practiced 45 minutes on Tuesday, one hour and 30 minutes on Thursday. How many minutes did they practice? Okay, 45 on Tuesday, an hour and 30 on Thursday. So how many minutes is one hour? 60, so 60 and 30 equals 90, then 90 plus 45 equals 145 minutes. Does it say minutes or hours? How many minutes? If they had hours, then we'd have to put that back into hours, figure out how many 60s are in there. Okay, that's your review page. If there's any section that you didn't understand, you can text me or email me and I'll try to go over it with you again or ask your parents or an older brother and sister. They can probably help you too. But make sure you know, because this is gonna look, our test is gonna look a lot like this paper here today. So if you are good, you did well on this page, you'll probably do well on the test. If you did not do well on this page, make sure you go over it with a parent or an older sibling or text me or email me and I'll be happy to go over with you. So you'll do well tomorrow on the test. All right, see you later.